Hello Taurus, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love, um, what you need to know about them, and where it's all headed. So let's jump in. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate for every Taurus watching, so just please take what resonates for you, what applies for your situation. If you find that it doesn't resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Taurus. I have tons of videos there specifically for your sign. Um, you can also find uh, readings that I've done recently that might resonate as well. Even, you know, if this one does resonate for you, there might be another one there that resonates. All right, let's get into this. Angels, guides. Messages for Taurus, please. Messages for Taurus. What do we need to know regarding who or what is coming towards them in love? Okay, we have Bountiful Harvest and Falling Leaves. So Bountiful Harvest is about growth, abundance, patience, and Falling Leaves is about changes, transition, time. So I feel like this is about growth over time. Let's see, abundance, being patient. Maybe a lot of time has passed, a lot of changes have happened or will be happening here when it comes to love for you, Taurus. We have Standing Firm. Defense, resistance, courage. Interesting. So there's some resistance here. And I'm trying to figure out if that's un like on your side or if they have to have courage in order to make these changes. We'll see when we look at the tarot. Let's see what else we get. Spirit, any insight, please, into who or what is coming towards Taurus? All right, Spirit, tell me who or what is coming towards Taurus in love. Three of Cups. What else? Ace of Wands. Wow, okay. And it's funny because the Ace of Wands looks very similar to this Falling Leaves card. Something new, beginning here, passionate endeavor. Wow, that's a lot. Do I want to take these? Yes, okay. Let's look at what this is. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Tower. Wow, okay. And the Ace of Cups. Wow, two Aces. And I feel like this is... um. This is very interesting energy, actually. I feel like this is, um, the Seven of Cups is all about choices, options, uh, imagining, um, picturing something in your mind, dreams, fantasies, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot that goes into the Seven of Cups. Um, I feel like there's a choice that someone's making here that might be a surprising choice with the tower that has to do with love. We will see. I'm going to have to clarify this because this looks like it's going to be very interesting. Let's start with this Three of Cups. Typically, this is a card about coming together, like a reunion, uh, celebrating with friends, family. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here for Taurus? They keep wanting me to like, there you are Taurus with the higher font and the Four of Pentacles. Can I get one more for the Three of Cups? Right away I could tell this is gonna be a very, um. It won't resonate for everyone because I feel like this is going to be a very specific reading. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So what I get with this is distance. Um, I know that's a weird thing to say with these two cards, but that's the message that I just got was distance. Um, especially with this deck, this is someone that's looking from the outside in. And also it's almost like there is, um, there's resistance with the Four of Pentacles. So I'm picturing someone keeping things to themselves, guarding their heart, um, holding back here. 
But, you know, and, and I feel like there's an emotional distance because of that. Um, this could also be somebody who has been holding on to something they've lost with the Five of Pentacles. Um, and I think this is, you know, relating to you because I have the higher font here and I'm seeing this as, as like you. This is concerning you or this is how you, the energy you're bringing. And I feel like it could be because there's a third person here or because maybe you're resistant to the idea of reuniting with someone. Um, we'll see. I'm going to get some more insight into these two specifically here. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. What are these two energies about? The Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. I keep seeing, I, every time I'm grabbing a deck from this card, it's like it's more than one. So there's a lot to say, a lot to this. Page of Swords, Queen of Wands. Hmm. I feel like someone wants to talk. What's at the bottom of the deck? Eight of Cups. Hmm. This could have been somebody that walked away in the past. Wow, Three of Swords after that. Yeah. So there could have been a painful departure in the past. Someone could have walked away from this connection. There could have been pain, um, conflict, verbal conflict that led someone to walk away. And that's why there's a distance here. I don't think that, that you and this person are together. I think they will have something to say. It's almost like they could be watching you, observing you, especially because in this deck, the Five of Pentacles, it's like someone's looking at others here. There's a desire here to communicate. Tell me about this Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? Nine of Wands, and there's the resistance again. There's that wall, that barrier. This is very interesting. So, Taurus, like I said, this is not going to resonate with everyone, but if it is resonating, please let me know in the comments so I don't feel like I'm just talking out to the void here because I feel like this is for those of you who, over time, there has been a distance between you and another person. And despite that distance there's someone that i feel is trying to reach out here trying to grow something or change the situation but there is resistance here i don't know if it's on your part or on their part can i get one more for this page of swords nine of swords yeah there's fear anxiety there's possibly guilt here Whoever wants to communicate is scared. And I feel like you had a reading similar to this, almost like some, you know, being afraid of rejection or something like that. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. What's this Ace of Wands about? I find it fascinating that we have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Another five, five of Wands. Look at all of these cards about conflict and challenge. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords, Five of Wands. We have the Tower here as well. What's this Ace of Wands about? Page of Wands. Again, communication, a beginning of something, but there's resistance here or conflict or drama. There could be outside drama here that's affecting this connection. And there's the wheel. There's that change. An opportunity here and this is someone that with the page of wands and the wheel is wanting change taking the first steps towards this opportunity towards this new beginning I feel like this is someone that wants to talk to you because I have two pages here tell me about this page of and the star Aquarius energy tell me about this page of wands there's a page of wands here the sun, yeah, I feel like this is someone that has hope. Hope for happiness, and I have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, yes. Whoever this page is, um, this could be the person interested in you. This could be the way that you feel about this person. Um, there's this like hope or desire to create change in a positive way, to bring happiness back, or to be happy, 
to have healing and renewal. So what is going on with this tower? Tell me about the tower. What's this tower about? Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about this tower. Ten of Wands. Yeah. So I feel like this is someone that's going after an opportunity or cre or offering something with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, however, they have to let something else go with the Ten of Wands. What's this Ten of Wands about? Ten of Cups. This could be another commitment. This could be something to do like an exchange. One over the other. Bottom of the deck. Two of Swords. Yeah, there's a, a decision that needs to be made here. Someone needs to drop a burden in order to have emotional fulfillment. Or they need to drop a family situation or another situation that's like family-like. Um, I feel this is an exchange. Three of Pentacles after that. Three of Wands after that. I don't... Some of you are in a third-party situation. If you are, let me know in the comments because... I feel like if you are, that's why there, this is so complicated. I keep seeing all of this conflict around this other positive energy, right? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups about? Chariot, Cancer energy. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Two of Cups. So this is about... Coming forward. Moving forward towards a partnership here, a soulmate connection, a strong connection. There's love here with the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups. Someone wanting to take some sort of action here. And then I have the Two of Pentacles again. Or, you know, I don't I say again because I feel like there's a choice here that someone needs to make. Can I get one more for the Ace of Cups? I'm just curious. What's the Ace of Cups about? Justice, Libra energy, bottom of the deck, judgment. So this is about um how do I say this? This is someone that's making I feel a judgment call. Just because I keep getting this the energy of a choice. And then I have justice and judgment together. So it's almost like someone's using logic and reason to make a judgment call or to make a, a decision or perhaps to have a second chance for those of you that are dealing with a past person. I see all of that here. But I feel like there has to be an exchange and that's why there's a tower. It's not so easy here. Um, there's something here that's not easy in this connection. And that's probably why someone needs to be brave why someone needs to stand firm. But I feel like it's not so easy. I feel like there's fear, resistance, trust issues possibly here, and anxiety over either commitment or coming together or this third party situation. You know, take it as it resonates. So let's find out about this other per excuse me, about this other person. What do we need to know about this other person? Spirit, what do we need to know about this person that Taurus is or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person that Taurus is dealing with or will be dealing with? I feel like for a lot of you, this is a past person. Bad health. So this is reminding me of the Ten of Wands right away. There is some, someone's not dealing with something well or affected by something emotionally, perhaps. Let me look at that number 31. This could be sickness, addiction, problems, illness as well. Um, it's time to rest and recover. 
It can indicate problems in a relationship, feelings of powerlessness. Wow, all kinds of stuff here. Rest, breaks, naps. So it's kind of like the Four of Swords. Um, but it it's like someone's not dealing with something well. And I think it's emotional. What's at the bottom of the deck? Official person and community. Again, with the com community is making me think of the Three of Cups. Hmm, let's see. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person that Taurus is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about them? Fearless, motivated and bold and lucky, fortunate and blessed. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune, Fearless is making me think of the Fool. I always think of tarot with my oracle cards because when I design these, I'm thinking of the tarot. Interesting. So I feel like this is someone who <laughs> is motivated, uh, bold, kind of like the Knight of Wands. And I feel like at the same time, though, they, they need luck on their side. <laughs> so it's almost like they can be as fearless as they want to be as bold as they want to be but at the end of the day they still need help <laughs> so that's why i'm getting the sense that you know maybe you have resist you're resisting this person's advances or resisting what this person has to say or or has to offer you tell me more about this person Let's see what else we get Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know about this person? I don't think they're, I think maybe they maybe are, are putting on a brave face, but inside they're really like struggling. Like the nine of swords here with the bath health card. Okay, we have the lovers, Gemini energy. What do you need to tell me about this person? Again with the choice and the nine of cups interesting so there's a wish a desire there's a motivation because they know what they want or they have a wish that they want fulfilled here what's this nine of cups about yeah what's this nine of cups about there's the nine of cups nine of pentacles what's this nine of cups about Ten of Pentacles, wow. Going from the nine to the ten. So I feel like this is about long-term success, stability, security, being well off. This is somebody I feel that cares about how they appear, um, how they present themselves to you. They might be well off or have a good job. Tell me about the lovers. I feel like this is someone that gets what they want, usually. Judgment. So again, this is a choice with the lovers and judgment. I feel like this is a judgment call here. Or if it's not a judgment call, it's a second chance within a partnership. Yeah, second. Look at this. The Six of Cups, guys. The Six of Cups were judgment. Like this is like second chance right here. Um, learning from the past. Thinking of the past fondly. And then making some sort of judgment call or decision or having an awakening about the past. Um, and then with the lovers here, you know, it's almost like it, this is regarding your partnership. So this, if this is someone new, which I feel like that's only for a very small number of you, this is, you know, someone who has realized something about how they feel towards you. Like maybe it's, it's a soulmate connection or very, um, it's a very strong union with the lovers. But for most of you, this is someone from the past that still thinks of you fondly. And is kind of dreaming or hoping for success here, desiring success. So let's see what's next. Let me do that. Then I shuffle. All right, so tell me what's next for Taurus. Where is all of this headed? Where is all of this headed for Taurus? This other person, where is all of this headed? Seven of Pentacles, growth over time, planting seeds, 
and then hoping for the best but being unsure of the outcome where is this headed ace of wands again so there is a new beginning here a new beginning is ahead um expect a new beginning and i feel like it's even even if it takes time this is the outcome ten of swords very interesting why the ten of swords this could be the end of a cycle here interesting and then maybe that's the tower the tower energy that we had previously because the tower came out with the ace of cups why is the ten of swords here why is the ten of swords here yeah look at this the world exactly what i was just saying so this is about the okay so in the near future there's you or this person are having some sort of ending or ending a cycle in order to have a new beginning here a new cycle tell me about the ace of wands what's this about six of cups yeah i feel like this is a new beginning regarding someone from the past for a lot of you or a new beginning where there's a soulmate or past life connection that could be approaching you or a connection that starts building tell me about this ace of wands can i get one more this ace of wands okay see i can't <laughs> king of swords and the king of wands this is someone that really knows what they want I have the page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so there's definitely they're thinking of an offer with the one that they are interested in but it's not just someone that wants to act without thinking this is someone that is thinking logically and analytically but also is bold enough to go after it to do what they need to do with that information tell me about the seven of pentacles Queen of Wands. Interesting. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone that, um, mm, okay. This is someone, okay. Hold on. Ace of Cups. Okay. Uh, bottom of the deck, the lovers again. So whoever this is, um, whatever is happening next for this connection, it involves action of some sort. And I feel like whatever action someone is taking, it's almost like it's not going to be an instant result with the seven of pentacles so for example if they make you an offer you might think about it for a while um, if they end a cycle it might take a little while to set up the new one um, whatever this waiting period is about it's about it has to do with a connection a, a new beginning here I have the ace of cups ace of wands and the world tell me more about the seven of pentacles can i get one more just curious you get one more about the seven of pentacles seven of cups hmm so interesting i have the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so yeah it's almost like when this offer comes in which it will um i feel like you're going to be thinking about it and taking your time making this decision i don't think this is a decision you're going to take lightly and you know there might be mutual attraction here because i have the king of wands queen of wands i feel like this is someone that's very bold and very in your face about what they want with you this is not somebody that you know hides behind words or whatever um can i get one more for the world and i'll close this out basically this is not a talker this is a doer and I feel like in their mind, all they need is luck on their side to get this, this nine of cups that they do so desperately want, which is you. Tell me about the world. What's the world about? The moon, Pisces energy. And then I have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So whatever this um, ending is or what, and this new beginning is about, I get the sense that someone has no idea how this is going to play out. They don't know the future of this connection or of this offer. 
there's something here that's maybe secret or there's just they don't have all the information can i get one more for the high priestess oops okay we have the three of cups and the knight of cups very interesting so i feel like um this is someone that might be uh, opening up here with the Knight of Cups and, and, and kind of expressing their emotions. Um, they could be opening up about a third party situation. Um, they could be secretly desiring a reunion with you. Maybe that's part of their new beginning. Interesting. I feel like some of you, maybe, I don't know. It's like you're not talking to this person or you're not aware of this person's intentions. And I'm wondering why that is. Are you not in communication with this person? Do you not know how they feel about you? Because this is someone that wants something with the past and that includes you for whatever reason. Are you interested in the past horse? Let me know in the comments. I feel like a lot of you probably won't be, um, but I, I think some of you are willing to give someone a chance as long as you they end whatever it is they need to end. Because there's drama surrounding this in some way. If you enjoy the reading tours, please consider hitting the like button, subscribe, Leave me a comment if you'd like. Those are all great ways of supporting the channel for free. I really appreciate everyone that does that ahead of time and is so kind in the comments. It does not go unnoticed. And I will hopefully see you all in another video very soon. Take care.